In this example, we want to change 2 to the x to a similar exponential expression, but with base e. And there's a technique for doing this. Anytime you want to change the base to base b here, you take log base b of both sides and then raise both sides back again with b as the base to whatever exponentials you have. So in this case, we want to have base e. So our log is going to be log base e, which is clearly natural log, natural log. So what you do here is you say, all right, you write this as y equals 2 to the x. OK, then we're going to hit both sides with the natural log. So natural log of both sides. This brings the variable down. That's a property of logarithms there. OK, so we now have natural log y equals x, natural log of 2. And now we take both sides base e in this case. So base e, base e. The e and the natural log are inverses, so they undo each other, leaving us simply with y equals e to the x, natural log 2. There we go. We have changed the base to base e. The second example will work the same way. Here we have 5 to the cos x. So I'll write this as y equals 5 to the cos x. We're still changing to base e, so I'll hit both sides with the natural log. That will bring down this entire cos x. All right, so now we have natural log of y equals cosine of x times natural log 5. And now we take both sides base e again. So base e, base e, e and the natural log undo each other, leaving us with y equals e to the, I'm going to write this as natural log 5 times cos x. That's a slightly better form of writing it. And there you go. We've changed the base from base 5 to base e.